I can't believe it. This place is mine. Delphine gave me the key. She literally gave me the key, Lucian. She's like, yep, here, go for it. And now I've... Oh, I'm gonna fall in love. <laughs> of all things, I've... I honestly would have been okay with just living in a tent for the rest of my life. I mean, there's there's peace and quiet when you're out in the wilds, in in your own little tent, just basically living wherever the hell you like, wherever in oblivion you like, and well, now we got this. Got a little stable for Ori. She'll, she'll like that. I'll have to... Oh no, I'll have to keep up with the hay bales. I know she eats a lot of the hay, that's why. Oh no, I'm going to have to keep up with that. I'm going to have to learn how to fish. <laughs> Lucian, could you teach me how to fish? I actually don't know how to fish. I've always hunted the other way around. With meat. Oh. Lucian, I'm really happy. <laughs> oh my. This place has got everything. How long have these sweet rolls been in here? I might have to... What's the chances I might actually have to like around the place and like chuck out old stuff and get some new stuff in. Ah, oh, I can bring all of the hunted meats I got to here. I can actually cook stuff over a proper fire and not just a wood stove. A wood pile. I'm never gonna leave this place. Plenty of storage, that's for definite. Oh my. What's up here then? <laughs> I could store everything up here. Oh, even mannequins? Oh! Lucian, do you need any armour by any chance? Because we got plenty. <laughs> oh my, look at this. Plenty of weapon racks. But we always come across weapons and armor. Oh no, th is this gonna turn me into like a collector or something? Oh, this this is just. Could you imagine being a child, Lucia, and just growing up in this room? Even dragons, as scary as they are in real life, that's actually really cute. Okay, um, so we might be taking a bit of a detour at one point. Two places what we need to go to, Lucian. Might be a bad idea to be honest, but... Uh, well, the idea is sold basically, but I don't even know if I, do you reckon I'd make a good mother, Lucian? In all honesty. Oh my. Lucian, just look at the view. You can see, oh, you can even see. We're high enough that we can almost see Dawnstar from here, maybe. Maybe a little bit further behind the mountains, but still, it's just... This just makes me really happy, and I never thought I'd say that. Ever. <laughs> Come on, we got a lot more to explore. What's this room? Well, I found the bath. I'm never gonna leave the bath. Ever. 
Can you blame me? Oh, this is so my room. Dibs, Lucian, Dibs, this is my room. Wow. Oh, and it's... And it's a comfy bed. Okay, right. Well, we've got a few things to do, Lucian. First things first. I need to properly move stuff in. Okay, I managed to cut the ends off. I didn't realise just how naughty and ridiculously messed up my hair was. Ready? E yes, in some degree, Lucian, I'm ready. I want to grab something to eat first. But yeah, I'm ready. Cut my hair? You attach it? What do you do, you? do you think it looks nice? You're not looking. Ocean. Ooh, I'm going to kick your backside. I, I'm joking. Promise, I'm joking. Either way. Ready to go? I will be in a minute when I've told you my bloody plan. Have you shrunk or is it because I'm on the mat? Never mind, you're going up the stairs. Don't you dare go in my room. Either way, we've got a plan, and it's called go to Whiterun. We need to go see that girl. I can finally say to her, hey, I can finally adopt you. I've got a home. I have a home. I have a home. I'm not going to get used to that at all. This is mine. Perhaps we could pick up the pace a little? My boots are starting to slosh. We just stepped outside of the door, Lucian. That didn't take you long at all. Bloody oblivion. Did it have to rain, though? I mean... Really? It was all nice and warm and cosy inside and now I'm back out in the rain and... Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna end up wanting to stay in that home and never want to come out. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe that's mine! I still can't believe it's mine. No walls, nothing. It's just completely open. I'm not trapped. Oh, it's beautiful as well. It's got the best view! Ah, focus! Focus, Eris. Focus. We need to go get... We need to go get the girl. Get her home. See to her room. Make sure she's happy. I did stock up on the supplies. Might need to do it again. Yeah, I might have to. And then I might need to hire someone to watch over her while me and Lucian go out and have to handle these dragons. Shit, who can I ask? I mean, I could... Could I hire a guard? I don't think I can. No, there's, there's sworn guards of White Run. I, I, no, I can't ask him to do that. This was as stupid as I feud with Clan Grey Mane. Yeah, it is, kind of. What? It is. How did this fight even start again? <laughs> Sorry. He runs straight into a damn guard. No, oh, seriously, how did this war even start? All I hear is Ulfric shouted at someone. And I mean my kind of shout, not the typical yell. That still baffles me. Like, is he a dragonborn too? Or... I don't know, it makes no sense to me. Uh. Either way, the war is stupid. Ori! 
my darling. Elytra. Ori, why are you not under the covers, girl? You're getting soaked. Okay. That, that, okay. Okay. If you and you're enjoying the rain, then you, you, you carry on, girl. You just carry on. Elytra, darling. Hey, you're glowing a little bit now. Are you happy? You're happy. Okay. Will you be happy in the knowledge that um, I kind of have a home now. It's it's really nice. It's by a river. You can dip your little claws in the river. That sounded better in my head. But yeah, yeah. It's nice. Spacious too. You'll like it. I hope. Do you reckon she'll like it? It's by a river. Dragon Lord, it is my honor to stand before you. Thanks. I think. The honor is all mine, guys. Seriously, it's all mine. I think. Is that the right thing to say? I, I don't know, Lucian. I'm not used to this kind of honor title thingy, okay? I'm used to just being Eris. Ugh. Okay, um. The farmers are charging me double for the I sell. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble with the storm cloaks. Exactly. Road patrols were cut in half because the Jarl needed soldiers. Now the bandits are bolder than ever. They've been raiding the farms for food and supplies are scarcer than ever. Maybe I should sell swords and armor instead. <laughs> Maybe. But they wouldn't taste as good as a loaf of fresh baked pumpernickel. Okay, now she has an... Yes, that's true. That's... That just made me hungry. <laughs> oh no, I just had food. Spare a coin oh, for a let's go say hi to this priestess Hello, first and then we'll the find the, the little girl. Never mind! Oh, hey! Took years, but I hey! My way to the top. You're the best! Can you be my mother? I can adopt you. I can now. I've actually managed to get a um, house. Um. If you want, if you want it, is that is? I know you keep you do ask and you keep asking and yeah, I can adopt you. Really? Do you do you have a place I could live? Yeah, I do. It's a really nice house. It's by a lake as well. Try not to go near the. I might have to put up a fence. Try don't go swimming in the lake. Okay, it's just that it's right by a river. Okay. A river right by a waterfall. I, I don't want you to get her, okay? But it's a really nice house. It's really oh. big as well. Wow. Are you... Are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? Yeah, I'm sure. You're happy to come with me. Yay! Thanks, Mama. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. Need supplies. It's coming, See Mama. Bella his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock. Please don't ruin my moments. Ah. Okay. Where's my baby? I need to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. I'll meet you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Just make. Make sure to speak to one of the guards and ask them to, to help you go and there. To everyone. I'll meet you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. Anytime, sweetheart. Remember, talk to the guard outside and ask them to take you there, okay? Tell them literally you're the Dragonborn's daughter and if they don't believe you, come tell me and I'll make sure they understand where they went wrong. I can use that honor title against them. <laughs> 
What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Pain Wish I had so time great. to deal with it. The fever. It's hard enough with all my these body from burns. Before. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. So sick. What's happened to the Gilder Green is a travesty. Hey. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? It's literally right on my back. I've got it right here for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Oh. Now... Oh, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? It's just a dagger. Uh, well, it has been in hands and a hag raven, yeah, but... God's bless you here. Fine, okay, what needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Yeah, why? Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? You said that already. Why? Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I wonder what Kinnereth I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. I mean, you're welcome to join me, I guess. It's The road might be a little bit dangerous, but I mind, so I hope you can, you know, look after yourself. But yeah, you're welcome to join me. I thank you for your kindness. Keep a close eye on him. I should really learn some healing magic. I mean, the proper healing magic, not the kind that I just have so that I could maybe help these guys. The, so I'll leave it to the priests. Let's go! Okay, so where is... She said it was somewhere over here, so we're gonna have to... It's gonna be a kind of lengthy trip. Hang on, I know, I know that area and it's kind of... Not really the safest? Because I know practically giants roam the entire land. Do you hear that? Giants! Are you sure about this? Giants. Okay. Well, if he's sure... Uh, hang on, I need to... Hey, 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 hey. Look, Watch that's... The skies, traveler. I will. Look, there's a little girl, Lucia. What do you need? Actually, oh, there's a horse in the stables. Lucian! Not now, I'm trying to talk to the guard. Bloody hell. Dragonborn. It's an honor. It, it, the honor is all mine. Look, I need you to do me a favor. There's a kid called Lucia. Right She's going to come through the gates. You're going to stop interrupting me? But yes, there's a little girl called Lucia. She's going to come through those gates. I'm going to leave my horse at the oh, stables, rain. so... Skyrim weather at its finest. Lucian, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm leaving my horse at the stables. If you could have one of your guards just escort her to my place, that would be a great favour for me, okay? Thank you! I should really escort her myself, shouldn't I? What are you? Oh, for the love of... No! What are you doing? Why are you going for me? We're damn kin! Damn it! Don't mind if I take your arrows though, you're not gonna need it. All that potion. All them. All that ring. All that bow! I am happy- I- Oh. Lucian, do you want a bow? Why? Just why?
Ugh. There wasn't even a note on him saying, like, why. Good evening. Oh, here I have a bow for you. Of course. I know your last one broke, that's why. Here. Here, and you can take these arrows, because I have the Nord arrows. I've got your back, Elise. I know you do, Lucian. That's why I trust you. Okay, moving on from that disaster. We're, al we're almost there. Um, Yeah, we're almost there. We just need to get... Hopefully there before... Well, it's technically already night, damn it. I can only just about see as well. Oh, I knew it. You're definitely not fighting a dragon, are you? No, no. Oh, check the map, check the map, check the map. Okay, we're going to hopefully try and avoid that dragon. Somehow, the Elder Gleam is sort of that way, sort of, so... Oh, it's the goat. You should. the whistle there? I can't. Never got the knack. Nah, whistling isn't too hard. It just takes a bit to actually get used to. Sort of. Okay. All right. You are about to get very wet because we're going to follow the river. Anything to avoid that damn dragon, because I know for well you, mister, are going to get hurt. I hope you can swim. This is going to be a very bad idea, because if that dragon... Shit. That dragon spots us. It's going to... hold oh, this giants. It's going to go for our heads. I don't mind it going for mine, but I'd rather it doesn't go for her. Yeah. Guys, come on. Okay, it's just a skeleton. Why did I think it was a saber cat? Hey, you, come on. Come on. It's just a bit of water. It's the dragon that I'm more concerned about. So just keep your backside low, along with your head. Okay. I'm gonna get you there safely, I promise. If I don't, then you can have my head, okay? I'll give you my damn blade to do it yourself. And believe me, my blade can really chop heads up. Why am I saying this? Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> I'm not doing him any favours right now. Let's go. It's a little <clears> bit <throat> clear. Lucian, are you okay? And you are constantly... Oh, shit. Get down, get down, get down! If this place is right underneath that dragon... Oh no, please don't be. I'm turning my light off. The last thing I need is that dragon to kill this guy. No, you don't. Lucian, get down! We're almost there. We're almost there. It's just over here somewhere. Go, 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 go. Now I can turn my light on. Is this it? I think we found it. Okay. Hey. Come on. Hey. 
It's right there. Let's go before the dragon decides to say hi. I don't mind it coming for me, but not you. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. I've seen plenty of majestic trees, and I have to admit, some of them are really majestic and beautiful. So I'm wondering if this one's going to be even more majestic, considering it's meant to be this almighty elder, elder green thing. A tree. I say one thing though. Its location is at least majestic. <laughs> I mean, let me get rid of my torch. Look at this place. Hello there, friend. Come to oh, hi. The sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary as I have. Truly remarkable, isn't it? I have to admit, it actually kind of is. Wait, is that the tree up there? Oh, wow. Are you happy? I can almost hear its heart. <laughs> I wish I could. Anyways, let's um, let's go. I need to get that sap. I don't know how I'm going to get that sap. Okay, well, we need to get it sap. I hope they don't mind this. I know what some trees can be like, that's all. Well, that's a phrase there. Not exactly the trees, but nature itself. And I'm not daft. What do you mean? What do I mean? You can't feel them? The eyes of the Spriggans? I can pretty much feel them on me right now and it's kind of telling me things. And I need my light again because I can't see. I can feel them damn Spriggans on me. I know you're there. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, right. Sorry. Not entirely sure about this, but... Sorry, Lucian. Yeah, those brigands are gonna go and kill me, aren't they? I hope you don't mind. I mean it. Really. Are you coming? Look at this tree, it's beautiful. Hey, are you coming or not? I had no idea you were a woman of violence. Uh, what exactly are you intending to do here? I need the sap to fix the Gilder Green. It's what Priestess wants. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in Whiterun? That's abominable. Barbaric! I'll have no part of this. Why didn't you tell me what you intended? Well, what... <laughs> Well, what else am I supposed to do? You've seen how I f do things, especially on the road. You saw me kill those bandits. Those bandits, you could... You saw me kill my own kin. Not by choice. Do you have a better idea? Well, yes. There is something. It won't repair the tree back at the temple, but we could bring them a new one. I don't think I can carry a tree. But, uh, The fact that I know full well the Spriggan's eyes are on me, I can feel them. I can't hear the heart of this damn tree, but I can definitely feel the eyes of those Spriggans. What do you have in mind, exactly? Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. He's going to convince the tree to help us? What? Okay. You do your thing and I'll stand here and watch, I guess. The Elder Gleam has blessed us with a sapling. You should take it to Whiterun. Danica will want to see that the true blessings of nature lie in renewal, not a slavish maintenance. Thanks. At least it's not a full-on tree. I don't think I could get you to carry that. I'm not that strong. What will you do now exactly? Are you going to stay here? I believe I'll stay here and bask in Elder Gleam's warmth a bit longer. Good luck on your travels. 
May Kinnereth's wind carry only the sweetest scents. Well, if you leave, just be careful of the dragon. We should... Should I... I should really take care of that dragon, shouldn't I? Ah. Uh. Okay, it's actually a really nice little sapling. Oh, I hope you grow into being really nice. We're not going to probably see it in our, in our time, but... I hope it's nice. I really do. Okay, well... My apologies, Great Tree, for cutting your roots. I'm half tempted to leave this dagger here. Well, if I leave it here, no one's exactly gonna... Actually, no, because then they see it and then they are like, Oh, we have the power to cut this tree! Remind me to put this dagger somewhere else, okay? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> 